Okay, the biblical truth of our hymns, number 56. This is my father's world. I'm going to tell you right off the bat, I don't like this. Plain and simple. So, if there is any prejudice, you can read through it. Let's look at the part of it. The Babcock lived in Lockport, and he took frequent walks on the Niagara Escarpment to enjoy the overlooked panoramic visit of the upstate New York scenery and Lake Ontario. Telling his wife he was going out to see the father's world, she published a poem by Babcock shortly after his death, entitled, This is My Father's World. A large stained glass window is installed in 1905 in the Brown Memorial Presbyterian Church and Babcock's memory. The Holy City by Lewis Clifford Timothy, Tiffany depicts St. John's vision of the new Jerusalem described in Revelation 21 verse 2. It's brilliant red, orange, yellow glass etched the sunrise. I thought Revelation said that there's no sun. There's no need of a sun. Kind of missed something there, didn't we? And the texture glass used to create the effect of moving water. Uh, we're not supposed to have, make any images of things in the earth, on the earth, under the earth, and worship them. There's one of the two largest windows crafted by Tiffany. The poem was set to music 1915 by Franklin Shepard, a close friend of Babcock. The two named Terra Beta, which in Latin means blessed earth. You mean Mother Earth? So this is my father's world and Matthew chapter 4 Matthew chapter 4 verse 8. Again the devil takes him up into a seemingly high mountain and shows him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them. And said unto him, Jesus, all these things will I give thee and that will fall down and worship me. Then said Jesus unto him, Get thee behind me, get thee hence, Satan. For it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. You now God may have created this earth, and he did, Genesis 1. But the power is not given to the Father yet. It's in the power of Satan. Jesus did not deny the devil or Satan, his rulership of this world. And we have the millennial kingdom coming up of peace, no curse. And then we have the earth folding up, burning up, and God giving us a new earth. Uh, I don't know. They say life is good, but not without the Lord Jesus Christ. This world, Jesus says, marvel not the world hates you. Know that it hated me before it hated you. Marvel not the world hates you, John says. This is my father's world. And to my listening ear, all nature sings. Kind of in the realm of made gods in the trees, gods in the rocks, gods in the. I wouldn't take too much from Presbyterian. You gotta get away from that natureness of God. You gotta get the holiness of Jesus Christ. And round me rings the music of the spheres. This is my father's world. I rest me in the thought of the rocks and trees. What do you think about rocks and trees? Is that like the, the American, by rocks I love, the rails I love? You're getting a realm here that, you know, you're looking at rocks and trees and everything but God. We're supposed to be looking upon the Lord Jesus Christ. There's one rock. That's Jesus Christ. Of skies and sea. To 
too much nature in this one, from my opinion. His hand, the wonders wrought. The Bible says what God has wrought. But also the world holds the curse. Thorns. Poison ivy. Death. That's not of God. That's of the fallen state of, of man listening to the devil. This is my father's world. The birds, their carols raise. Yeah, Jesus said, are not the sparrow, I mean, uh, not you more important than the sparrow. And birds in the Bible, according to Luke chapter 4, are a type of the devil. Let's see if we see Jesus anywhere. The morning light, the lily white. Lily? Isn't that the, the official flowers of Easter? Declares their mar their maker's praise. This is my father's world. He shines in all that's fair. In the rustling grass, I hear him pass. Ooh. Oh. God moves through the trees. God moves through the grass. God moves through my heart, through the Holy Spirit. He speaks to me everywhere. You're getting a realm of new age. A generation of people that, you know, the, the age of Aquarius, you know, let's go out into the woods and worship God. This is my father's world. I told you I'm prejudiced against this. Oh, let me ne'er forget that though the wrong seems off so strong, God is the ruler, capital R, yet. What did I read to you in Matthew? Now, yeah, God has power over Satan, Job 1 and 2. But it wasn't God that told Jesus, I will give you all this power if you fall down and worship me. The devil said it. And the power given to Jesus Christ is the victory of the gospel that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again according to the scriptures and that his kingship and his divine rulership will be at the end of the tribulation period at the second advent into the millennia, into the eternity. We still got seven years of Satan ruling this earth. Coming. Where the Holy Spirit, God, and Jesus will be called out with the church. This is my father's world. The battle is not yet not done. Okay, true. Jesus, who died shall be satisfied with what? The battle is not done. Jesus who died shall be satisfied and earth and heaven be one. The new earth, the new heavens, and new Jerusalem. Way this poem reads that this earth today is going to be, you know, be in unity with Jesus Christ. No, Peter says it's going to fold up, it's going to burn up with fervent heat. Revelation chapter 9 says the heavens are flee from God, Jesus coming to the great white throne. Revelation 21 says, I saw the new heavens and new earth and new Jerusalem coming down as a bride adored for, for her husband. This world is polluted. This world is cursed. And there's only one way out of this world today is to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. My personal opinion, I, I wouldn't take this too much, too much nature. I'm not into nature. I can go out in the middle of the woods and get attacked by a bear, lion, tiger, what have you. 
but I can have the peace of God sitting anywhere. And I'm not going to hear him in the grass. I'm going to hear him through the word. I can have fellowship with God the Father and God the Son through prayer. I can have God speak to me through my preacher preaching to me the word of God. I can have peace and security in the comforts of my family, my wife and my daughter. And not no tree or rock. Like I said, maybe I'm prejudiced against this. I wouldn't sing it. I think it's a waste of ink, personally. 